The air compressor uh, shown here is used in the system. The purpose of it is to supply air for the air brakes and for the auxiliary air operated systems in the vehicle. Uh, this particular one's gear driven off the engine so it turns at engine speed. Uh, inside here when we take off the cylinder head we can see how it operates. Right here we have uh, intake valves. The intake valves are one-way check valves that allow air in but not out. As the piston inside here starts to go from top dead center, from top dead center down to bottom dead center, a low pressure area is created and causes air to come past the intake valves on the cylinder head. And uh, as the uh, air comes in, the piston will go to bottom dead center. As it starts to come back up on its travel, it closes the intake valve and now it starts to open the discharge valve. Piston comes up, compresses, and now the cycle repeats itself. Uh, what one cylinder is doing, the opposite cylinder uh, is uh, doing the opposite. So as this is on intake, this one will be on compression and vice versa. Air supplied to the inlet can be supplied from the turbocharger on the boost side of the turbo or it can be supplied on its own air filter or it can be supplied into the air filter of the vehicle. That's principle of operation. Uh, as the air leaves the compressor, it goes on to the air dryer and then on to the wet tank and to your dry tanks and also back to the governor.